how could we find the remainder in dividing two polynomials without using the long division or synthetic division? Is it possible? And how could we tell or determine if one polynomial is a factor of another polynomial or not? We'll answer those questions in this module number 6, quarter 1 of our Mathematics 10. So, let's take up first our remainder theorem. This theorem states that if a polynomial P of X is divided by a binomial X minus R, then the value of P of R is our remainder. How is that? For we to visualize our remainder theorem, let's have this example. Let's take up the first one. So we are going to divide or find the remainder in dividing X cubed plus 3X squared minus 5x minus 4. If we are going to divide that by x minus 4, what will be our remainder? Actually, we can solve that applying our synthetic division or long division. But like what I have said a while ago, we are not going to use the two methods we used last time, but this time we are going to apply the remainder theorem. So for you to apply the remainder theorem, ang tatandaan nyo lang dyan is papalitan nyo yung uh, x sa given polynomial o sa ating dividend by a single number. So, ang gagawin natin doon, manggagaling yung single number natin sa ating divisor or binomial divisor. So, here, we are going to have x minus 4 for our divisor. So, therefore, ang ating x na gagamitin dyan ay makukuha natin kapag ginawa natin 0 or equate to 0 ang ating binomial divisor. If we are going to equate that to 0, our x is equal to positive 4. Ayan. Remember, we are going to transpose this and that will become positive 4 from negative 4. Ayan. So, we know already what will be our x to be substituted on our dividend. So, so we have x cubed plus 3x squared 5x minus 4. This is our dividend. We are going to substitute our x by by 4. Very good. So, paano yon? Ang gagawin lang natin dyan is papaitan lang natin yung x ng parenthesis muna. Okay? So, we have this one. x cubed plus 3 x squared minus 5 x then minus 4 okay so after uh, substituting our x by uh, parenthesis first we will now substitute that by values okay so ang x natin dyan ay 4 this one so we will now have 4 cubed plus 3 times the square of 4 or 4 square minus 5 times 4, minus 4. Okay? I hope you got it. Then you are going to simplify your answer further. So, 4 cubed is equal to 64, because that is 4 times 4 times 4. Then plus, of course, this is uh, 4 square, so you are going to simplify that first, 16. Then multiply your answer by 3. Okay? So, uunahin mo muna ito, yung 4 square, at ang sagot dyan ay 16, saka mo i-multiply mamaya sa 3. I hope you got it. Then, let's continue. This is minus 5 times 4. Our answer is 20. Then, write minus 4 at the end. Okay? Continue simplifying. This is uh, 64 plus 3 times 16. Our answer is 48. Minus 20 then minus 4. Continue. You are going to, you may add this one now. 64 plus 48, then minus 20, minus 4. You may solve like that uh, one. Or you may also combine all the same, uh, all the two numbers with the same sign. Like this one, the group of positive and the group of negative. At the end, you will have an answer which is equal to 88. Okay. That 88 now is the value of your polynomial if 
your x is equal to 4. That's why we are going to use this one, p of 4 equals 88. What does it mean? Your p of, or, uh, p of 4, which is equal to 88, is also your, your r. Because your p of 4 will be your remainder. According to remainder theorem, uh, your r, p of r, is equal to r. So therefore, if your r is equal to 4, this one, if r equals 4, then that is your remainder. So that's why we can say that our remainder is equal to 88. And this will be our final answer. Okay, this one. I hope you got it. Let's proceed now to the next one. So for our number 2 or second example, we have 2x cubed plus 5x square minus 6x minus 24. If we are going to uh, find the remainder of this polynomial, if it will be divided by x plus 1, we will substitute our x here by uh, by negative 1. Why negative 1? Because our x plus 1 will be equated to 0. So if that x plus 1 will be equated to 0, then our x is equal to very good. Uh, that is equal to negative 1. Remember our negative 1 for x. So we will solve later for our uh, p of negative 1. And that will be our remainder. Okay? So this is our goal or plan. Kailangan hanapin natin yung p of negative 1 at yun ang ating maging remainder. Ibig sabihin nun, papaitan natin yung x natin dyan ng negative 1. And like what I have said earlier, Papaitan muna natin yun ng parenthesis. So, we have 2. Then, x cubed plus 5x square minus 6x minus 24. Then, you may now substitute your x by negative 1. So, this will become 2 times the cube of negative 1 plus uh, 5 times the square of negative 1 minus 6 times negative 1, and then minus 64 at the end. First, you need to simplify this one. A negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, your answer for that is equal to negative 1. Okay? Unahin nyo muna yun. Saka mo i-multiply yung sagot mo sa, sa positive 2, yung nasa unahan. And then, plus, sagutan muna natin yung ating uh, negative 1 square. Our answer for that is equal to 1. Ayan. Positive 1 po yan. And then multiply your answer by 5. Ingat po dito, lalo sa sign. So, this is uh, positive 1 times 5. And then just continue. We have here uh, negative 6 multiplied by negative 1. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung minus 6, ginawa ko na siyang uh, negative 6 para madali tayo. Negative 6 times negative 1, our answer for that is equal to positive 6. Okay, so you may write here positive 6. And then, just put at the end negative 24 or minus 24. Simplify, we have 2 times negative 1, our answer for that is equal to... Ayan, is equal to negative 2. Then, ayan. Positive 5 times 1, our answer for that is equal to positive 5. Then we have positive or plus 6. Then minus 64. Combine all those with the same sign. You will get an answer which is equal to negative 15. Okay? Yung negative 15 na yan, yan po yung ating magiging value ng polynomial kapag ang ating x ay equal sa negative 1. Ayan po. At dahil sabi sa remainder theorem, yung ating P of uh, R is equal to the remainder. So, ibig sabihin yung P of negative 1 natin, is equal to, which is equal to negative 15, will also be our remainder. Kaya pag sinulat mo po yan, ito po siya. 
because our P of negative 1 is equal to negative 15. So our remainder is equal to negative 15. I hope you got it. I hope that the two examples we have on remainder theorem is already enough uh, for you to uh, determine how to apply the remainder theorem in finding the remainder without using the synthetic division or long division. Now, we are going to connect that remainder theorem to our next topic which is all about factor theorem. So, what is, that, what is this factor theorem all about? It says here that, or it states that if P of X divided by X minus C or the binomial X minus C, if we have the remainder P of C is, which is equal to zero, then X minus C is a factor of P of X. What, is, what does it mean? If there is no remainder or the remainder is equal to zero, then that divisor or that polynomial is a factor of another polynomial. How is that? Kung mapapansin natin kanina, sa first example, ang ating uh, remainder sa una ay 88. Okay. Since we have a remainder which is equal to 88, we can, we can say that the second polynomial is not a factor of the first polynomial. Very good. Ayan. How about on the second one? Ang second example natin na nakuha kanina, the remainder is equal to negative 15. So therefore, the second polynomial is not a factor of the first polynomial. Why? Because there is a remainder. Yun yung dalawang examples natin kanina. Now, let's proceed to the next one. Kailan mangyayari na ang uh, isang polynomial ay factor ng isa pang polynomial? Sabi nga sa, uh, sa factor theorem, kapag ang remainder ay zero. So, let's have this example. Ayan. At gamitin natin yung napag-aralan natin kanina. Okay, let's have this uh, given polynomial now. x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x plus 3. If we will divide this polynomial by x plus 1, uh, we are going to find out if there is a remainder. If there is no remainder or remainder equals 0, then we can say at the end that, it is, uh, that x plus 1 or the other polynomial is a factor of this given polynomial. Okay? Since our divisor is x plus 1, so ang una natin gagawin is equate that to 0. So, x plus 1 equals 0. Para malaman natin kung ano yung ipapalit natin dun sa x, ba? So, we have x is equal to negative 1. Very good. Pag nalaman na natin yan, ang una natin gagawin dun, balik tayo dun sa ating polynomial. Okay? After you uh, know already what will be your x to be substituted later, punta na po tayo sa ating given polynomial. Ang una mo natin gagawin, katulad na sabi ko kanina, is papaitan mo natin yung x ng parenthesis. So, we have x cubed plus 5x square plus 7x plus 3. Okay? So, after that, you, are go you can now substitute your negative 1 to all the x there. So, we have now negative 1 cubed plus 5 times the square of negative 1 plus 7 times negative 1 plus 3. Then, simplify your answer further. What is the cube of negative 1? Our answer for that is negative 1. Okay? Plus 5. Okay? We must uh, simplify this one first. Uh, negative 1 times negative 1 or the square of negative 1. Our answer for that is positive 1. And then we have this one. 7 times negative 1. Our answer for that is negative 7. So, pwede natin tanggalin to. Instead of plus negative 7, ang ilalagay natin dyan is uh, negative 7 or minus 7. Then plus 3. Since may parenthesis pa dito, tanggalin na natin yan. Okay, pwede ko lang burahin dyan. 5 times 1 lang naman. Ang sagot natin doon ay 5. Okay? So, dito na tayo nagtuloy. And then, we are going to write here. Uh, pwede pagsamahin yung dalawa magkapareho ng sign. The answer for that is negative 8. And then, sa positive 5 and positive 3, our answer for that is positive 8. 
Then combine or add our answer for negative 8 plus 8. We have 0. Okay, very good. So our P of negative 1 or the value of the polynomial at negative 1 is equal to 0. Since that negative 1 is our R, pwede na tayo magsabi dyan na uh, P of negative 1 is the remainder. And because of that, our remainder for this is equal to 0. Dahil nagkaroon tayo dyan ng remainder na 0, what is our conclusion now? So we can say that x plus 1 is a factor of the given polynomial. Okay? So we have this one. I hope you got it. So what, what is important here? If the remainder is equal to 0, then we can say that the, first, that the second polynomial is a factor of the first polynomial. Okay? I hope you got it.